Well, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back. It's been a bit of a break for me. Uh, I've just had a lot of stuff going on that uh, need to be taken care of. But uh, finally got back to uh, doing some bits and pieces for the grumpy old tech. This video is about the construction of the electronic speed controller for the uh, brushless motor. Still waiting on a couple little bits and pieces to come through, but the bulk of it certainly is uh, put together in this uh, video. So uh, let's take a look at it. We started the construction of the driver board first, so. Uh, the some of the power supply components are on this particular board and the actual drivers uh, for the motor are also on this board so nothing particularly difficult involved here I'm still waiting on a couple of connectors and cables to come through but this board was relatively easy to put together it's all surface mount uh, sorry it's all through hole uh, components um, and just the drivers, a couple of capacitors and the actual connectors on this particular board. The other thing to note on the driver board, you'll notice all of the actual drivers are lined up against one side so that uh, when we come to mount the actual driver we can just mount that up against a heatsink now when it actually goes into the skateboard it will very likely be bolted again up to the um, frame uh, potentially with a, a small aluminium block between or something like that just to space it out next came the control board uh, the control board's got a combination of surface mount components and through hole um, never actually installed any uh, surface mount components before so actually started off with, with a few of the through hole components um, <laughs> left a little bit of time there before I looked at the actual um, surface mount components but eventually um, you sort of run out of other things to do so started looking at the surface mount components I've done a bit of research on uh, the web with regard um, how to actually solder them. I'm sorry the cam camera angle is not great for this, um, just wasn't very mindful of it when I did this. In my wisdom, I selected the larger component to uh, try first. And the method I actually tried first up was basically just uh, tacking the uh, component down at two points and then drag soldering across the uh, leads and um, pads. Now this actually worked quite well. The components I've got are not particularly fine pitch and to be honest could probably almost hand solder every pin but I just wanted to see how I'd go with the drag soldering method. Now, when I actually did do it, I found that quite a, a, a number of the pins uh, were actually bridged with solder. It was quite obvious, um, very visible, but that's okay. I basically just uh, put some extra flux on it and uh, used solder wick and just wicked off the um, excess and the that method actually seems to leave just the right amount of solder on the actual surface mount device um, and the pad to uh, hold it down i haven't actually checked for any shorts um, but i will check the continuity uh, before it's powered up so the first component the larger of the two the larger of the two surface mount components went on without too much bother. Uh, 
So following the success of the larger component, I moved on to the smaller component. Now the smaller component actually had a slightly finer pitch. Um, anyway, I tried the same method, just uh, applying flux, uh, tacking the component down, and then drag soldering across it. Um, again, I found there was uh, bridges on there, but um, using the solder wick, uh, method just to wick off the excess. Um, this one actually ended up looking much much nicer than the first one but I guess that's generally the case. The uh, first one always ends up being a bit of an experiment and generally the second one always ends up looking uh, like the, the better success. Uh, one thing that I have found, I'm going to have to get a uh, microscope to uh, take a look at my work if I'm going to do a lot more surface mount. The phone is a bit of a stopgap at the moment, just zooming in and taking a, um, taking a look at it with the camera. Um, everything looked okay though, so I just moved on to the uh, through hole components, the, the rest of the resistors, capacitors and uh, bits and pieces on the board and they all went together quite nicely. So there you have it, there's the basic construction of the driver and the control board. As I said, still waiting on a few components to come through, a couple of cables and connectors and I think uh, Zenit diode. But uh, once we have those uh, in, we'll get them mounted up on the board. I actually have to get hold of a uh, brushless motor to actually test the um, controller out, but uh, hopefully we can get to that in the next video.